of this baby. This is my new LG inverter heat pump water heater. It is an 80 gallon behemoth. I measure six foot one inches tall and this is on a tiny little pallet below me, but you can see that this is quite a giant beast. We're gonna unbox it today and we're gonna install it tomorrow. This is the last thing that we need to do in our house to make it fully electric. So let's see what we got. All right, this was delivered to me yesterday and we're gonna try to open this up with all of the various plastic on here and see what we can see so that we're ready to go with our system tomorrow morning. All right. Um, why did we go with an 80 gallon water heater? So right now we have an on-demand gas water heater. Um, we've never had a tanked water heater in our house. Um, we are a family of four with two teenagers. Um, one of whom likes to take short showers and one of whom likes to take long showers. Um, but we also have guests over, so we want to make sure that we have, you know, enough capacity. And, you know, for future homeowners potentially as well beyond us, uh, that they're gonna, their needs, needs are going to be met. So we're going to try this out. Um, LG makes both a 80-gallon version and a 58-gallon version of their water heater. Um, this particular unit weighs about 300 pounds. Ooh. Um, so it's not light. Um, and we're gonna see how much of it we can unbox right now um, so that it's ready to go tomorrow. And this stream will be as long as it needs to be to get to that point. Um, without tipping it over and making a big giant mess. Um, Kai, any questions? Uh, no. My son Kai is operating the camera. Shout out to all of the NBJH subscribers to the Electric Home Show. Uh, thank you guys. Merci beaucoup for all those who went on the uh, French field trip. Um, again, there's probably a better way to do this. Let me Maybe know if you need any help. With a uh, pair of... Uh, you know what I could do? What I'm being careful not to do is I don't want to scratch the finish. But I think I can get in here with my scissors and kind of cut this through. It's basically stapled in. Um, along the way, again. So this will complete the electrification of our house. We've already changed out our previous gas cooktop for an induction cooktop. We did that a couple years ago. Um, we've never had a gas furnace. The house has always had electric air source heat pumps. Proof that if you have the right tools, it's a lot easier to do. Um, so here we go. The unboxing. Ooh, that thing is huge. It is huge. We're gonna move this ladder out of the way. Um, we also just took delivery a couple weeks ago of our heat pump dryer and I'm going to be doing a video and sharing some more information about that. Whew. Let's not knock over the bicycles. All right, so pretty well packaged here and let's just see what's connected from this. Um, unfortunately, the first one that we had delivered was damaged in transit. So this is the second heat pump water heater to get into my garage. And thankfully we were able to get a new one relatively quickly. 
It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. It is a lot bigger. So our current system is a on-demand tank, tankless water heater, which is about yay big, which we'll see when we do the installation and deinstallation. Um, but yeah, this thing, again, I'm six foot one and it's not small, that's for sure. Let's take a look at the unveiling. All right. Maybe once you get that off, it's you like, can tell them what the energy guide yellow paper yeah. says there. It's a great question. Um, it's like Christmas morning here for uh, home electrification nerds. Um, check out my video, which highlights what I looked at the top six heat pump water heaters on the market. Um, this LG, and the reason we went with that is it is the quietest heat pump water heater on the market. It is one of the most efficient heat pump water heaters on the market. And, you know, some recommendations that I had given to me were, it's all made by LG. It's all made by one company. So if something goes wrong, that one company LG can help you out. In some instances with heat pump water heaters, as with any other appliance, some of their components might be made by a different provider. And so if something goes wrong, it might be harder to find those parts or harder, harder to find those service. Um, this also comes with a 10 year warranty on the inverter. Um, and I've really liked LG. I have a lot of LG appliances. I have an LG uh, refrigerator. Um, I just replaced a 16 year old LG washer and dryer with a new LG washer and dryer. I'm not sponsored by or funded by LG in any way, just like their products. Um, and this is also connected to an app. I'm a tech geek, I like the apps, and LG has a ThinkQ app, which will help me monitor this system as well as my washer and dryer system. Um, yeah, so I think it's just a nice ecosystem to be a part of, and I use the word system a lot. So, to Kai's question. Do you want me to bring nope. the camera over there? Um, sure, if you wanna walk over, why not? All right, so Kai's question, energy guide. Everybody check out your label. All right, so the energy guide for this LG system, again, based on an estimate of uh, 14 cents per kilowatt, your costs will vary based on where you're located, but we're looking at $178 yearly cost. Um, again, go back to my video to talk about the top six um, systems or heat pump water heaters on the market for 2025. This is one of them. This is ultimately the one that I'm going with, um, but your mileage may vary. And if you've decided to install an AO Smith or Ream or Renai, Bosch, Medea, uh, any of those systems, let me know in the comments how it's going for you. Um, I've seen the AO Smith, the Ream slash Richmond models operating, and I've talked to folks who use them and they're not having any problems. Um, and I've also did a video with Mike Gunderson a couple weeks ago, specifically on his LG heat pump water heater, which he has the 58 gallon version. Um, so if you go back and look at that video, you can see the size comparison between his 58 gallon and this 80 gallon monster. Um, but yeah, more to come as we install this tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in live. Ask us any questions you have. And uh, oh, Kai's got a question before we leave. Go for it. Kai. And that says $1870 per year. Do you know what the average gas or a different electric heat pump yeah, would be? Yeah, great question. Um, I don't off the top of my head. We're definitely going to look at what this says on our gas system downstairs. Um, but the interesting part about these heat pump electric water heaters is it should in addition to an energy savings and an efficiency savings, it should be a cost savings. Um, if you're replacing an electric resistance water heater, you can expect your heat pump water heater to be three to 400% more efficient than even your, or I should say 300% more efficient than an electric resistance tank. And so this cost for the equivalent electric tank would probably be $500 a year or more um, based on this number. From a gas perspective, it's probably 250. I'll have to look at it, but that's a great question. Um, if folks know and want to comment um, below, let us know. But we'll definitely look into what it costs to run this system. It is going to be a higher upfront cost to install a water heater um, like this with a heat pump, but ultimately you're paying 
less in operating costs over the course of the system, but you're paying upfront um, for an additional cost here. So more to come. Thanks for tuning in to the Electric Home Show. I am Aaron Stash. Let's go electric.